Last time on Out Chasing Stars, we had our second haul out in Thailand thanks to a run in with an uncharted bomby. This haul out combined the good, like fixing our mini keels, getting lots of fiberglass repairs done, and servicing our outboard with the bad. Two cracks in our hull due to an incorrect placement of a support. We weren't exactly loving cruising life at the moment, so with my sister scheduled to visit, we were all too happy to get out of the yard. We are uh, taking a little bit of a break from boat life in the boat yard because my sister's visiting Hi. all the way in Thailand. Pretty freaking excited about that. And where are we going tonight? We're going to the Sunday night market. Sunday night market, which is pretty big in Phuket, right? I mean, it's just like very cute, traditional. They block off the whole street here. It's a lot of fun. Kind of excited. Street Thai food. I mean, that's half the reason we came here. <laughs> Time to go check it out. My reason. <laughs> A lot of street vendors here. I haven't quite found the food stalls yet. That's what I'm really looking forward to. You spoke too soon. We found them. Yay! <laughs> we already lost Amy, I think. She's ready for food. Finished one lap of the food. It's a long walk. Have to go on the other side, see everything there is. Never make decisions. We finally make our first decision. Yes, pork dim sum. You look like you're really suffering through that one. It's hard. Mm. Is it good? Hot. hot. <laughs> What do you got now, babe? A dumpling, I think. Some sort. It's a, this one's taro, and these are garlic and chives. Mm. Okay, and we found some Chicken satay, satay down there. Not it's suffering, huh? Very, very hot. Yeah. <laughs> we find our final dessert for the evening. He has this, the best. You got the good stuff, sweetie. <laughs> Holding a hostage, I gotta make sure I get some. Ready? The PF still resistance. I got coconut syrup on my phone. <laughs> Third shower for the day. <laughs> oh, I'm sweaty. Shower again, anyways. <laughs> Had to find a side street to get out of the market because, oh my gosh, it's packed. But that was delicious. Highly recommend if you ever come to Phuket. Night market, Sundays, Old Town Phuket. Well worth the trip. The night market was a nice introduction to Thailand for my sister. But of course, there's lots of other things to go see including one we'd previously visited with my other sibling. <laughs> what, what are you doing back there? Oh, I don't know. Just I'm hiding. tired. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, so where are we today, Julie? The Big Buddha. The Big Buddha. Yep. And uh, this is this is our second time coming here. They're being sports. Yeah. <laughs> good sports. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cool spot. You can't miss this when you're a tourist here in Thailand. Definitely. And it's a good view today. Yeah. Yes. 
very blue sky, very sunny. I don't know. Good time to see a blue sky time. <laughs> <laughs> apparently we're uh, white as snowball still white apparently. Snowball. We just got that comment today on the YouTube I'm white video. on snow, white as snowball apparently. I think it's hilarious, but. Greatest comment, thank you. <laughs> blue booted. <laughs> big booted time, let's try that one. <laughs> let's go see the big Buddha. <laughs> It can be interesting to go back to places you've already been before, especially when it's less crowded. Getting close and personal with the monks. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty quiet in here today. Yeah, there was chanting and everything going on in here last time we were here. Mm-hmm. I guess it's um, only because it's early morning. Not that early, but, but it's a lot quieter. This time I focused in on some of the smaller details of the site and took advantage of more open space to explore areas I missed last time. That's how I found the pattern of Buddha's left footprint. This pattern was a natural one, and as such, is believed by Buddhists to be evidence of the Buddha's spiritual influence on nature. We've got a Buddha posture for every day of the week, Sunday through Saturday. I think Tuesday is my favorite. Tuesday is the favorite, huh? Tuesday. Hmm. Other than the big Buddha, Julie had one other must do on her list. And I'll admit, it was on ours as well. Okay. Thank you. All right, ladies, what are we doing now? We were really excited. This is obviously like the big thing to do when you go to Thailand, um, is have an elephant experience. So we are going to Phuket Elephant Sanctuary, which um, my friend Carlana, who's coming later, has vetted for us. She says this is the one to do. And we've had some friends who've come here and says it's really good. And so, you're particularly excited about this, right, Julie? Yes, absolutely. Whenever <laughs> I go someplace, I have to play with animals. <laughs> <laughs> the animals. It was Koala when I came to Thailand, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Koala when I came to see you in Australia, elephants in Thailand. I think come that's on now. fair. <laughs> yep. It's the way to do it. And I think we've seen, like today, driving up the Big Buddha, you can see that there's a lot of elephants that are tethered and ro ridden or used for trekking used or for logging. Trekking. And, and this place is designed for the ethical treatment for retired uh, elephants, and that's all about what I am. So A little bit more something we can support, yeah? Exactly. Massively. I can easily get behind that. <laughs> The sanctuary is located on 30 acres of pristine jungle and is not open to drop-ins from the public, so we got there in the back of one of their trucks. They have a very nice welcome center where we got outfitted with some cool new kicks and got a briefing. We learned that Asian elephants are an endangered species and it's estimated that less than 2,000 wild elephants still exist in Thailand. In comparison, it's believed there are about three to 4,000 elephants in captivity in the tourism, logging, and other industries. The elephants in the sanctuary are all rescues, purchased when they're too old or sick to work. Life is better for them here as they can roam freely and have a few creature comforts. Madi, she's 68 years old. And Kandika, she's 35 years old. Madi, Kandika, first elephant here. In our documentary, oh, ah, Madi Kandika. Hi. They are so cute. This is the hydrotherapy pool. It's pretty awesome. Just like watching them play in the water, lifting the tusks out. It's apparently them looking for some food, but we don't have any bananas or anything yet. So, uh, still just kind of fun watching them play around. Very, very cute. Very, very persistent. Yeah, very, very <laughs> I'd buy a donut for you either, sir. I am. Yummy, yummy. Yummy. 
Oh my gosh, look at you. Yeah, he's from wearing the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Big defend and F and African elephant much bigger and more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Asian elephant more gentle. Sir. Her name is Darling. Darling? Ah, uh, uh, cover Darling. Mm -hmm. uh, 57. Before she been here, she was working in the logging industry. Darling is a very special resident indeed, as she is completely blind. Elephants are social creatures, and there's nothing quite like playtime to cement new friendships. Best new best friend. <laughs> Playtime in the mud. Yeah, on a day like today, that uh, sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the mud is fun for playing in, but it also serves as a type of sunscreen for the elephant's sensitive skin. However, apparently it's a bit itchy. <laughs> Muddy, and now I'm scratchy. <laughs> this one, young, young and healthy, young and healthy, the second youngest. She's 38 years old. 38, so young, yeah, the second youngest, the youngest one uh, in hydrotherapy pool, Kanika, she's 35. This one, she's 38, the uh, second youngest, and it's very beautiful. This one, she not afraid of people, she very friendly, a friendly one. More than 20 years, carrier people, more than 20 years, too long. Before carrier people, she was working at the Bangkok uh, in the big circus. Uh, like she like an elephant show, many people allow her. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. So this one, her ear is all ragged because they used the bull hooks on her. Yeah, that is just so incredibly sad. Remember that if you're going to Thailand and looking to ride an elephant. It is just really cool to be here in the, the sanctuary. And I know it sounds so corny, but I swear if you just kind of like look in the eyes of the elephants, you can, you can see they're, they're pretty happy elephants here. It did feel good having a positive interaction with the elephants, and the sanctuary offered us a chance to see them acting as naturally as possible. Nowhere was this more evident than in one of their big freshwater lagoons. Our tour through the sanctuary was just about over, but there was one thing left to do. Offer a few special treats to our new friends. With life please, with life please, one by one. Okay, don't pick it up, you can take it. Oh, <laughs> 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 
It's so weird to feel her like breathing on you. All <laughs> done. We're back in the boat yard and Star Horizons still here. So that's a, always a positive sign. And I gotta say, she's looking pretty good. We had the, the yard do a pretty good detailing for us and oh, it's much nicer to come back to a clean boat, that is for sure. And I've already been working on a few projects this morning. I did end up drilling out the rest of the acrylic so that I could do the rest of the escape hatch kit fix. So I got that all drilled out, bolts put in, sealed in, backing plates added. So that should be all good. Now the boat is getting ready to get hauled out, you can see, or the hauled up, you can see the trailer back behind me. So we've got a tide window to get hauled out at, or put back in, excuse me, in about an hour, hour and a half. So we're on, on good schedule so far. Now we just gotta put the rest of the boat back together. They've got the tractor moved down near us, don't they? Yeah, I'm shaking occasionally. We're Getting close to going back in the water. Going up. How's she looking? They did a really good job painting her. Like, they got some stuff that we neglect to do all the time, which is really nice. So, that's good. Yeah, I'm excited to get back in the water. They did a really good job on the fiberglass work, too. Yeah, that's really appreciated. Yeah. And Julia, you've got to be about ready to get in the water of being hot and sweaty in a boat yard, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I knew what I signed up for today. She's the trooper. <laughs> Good sport, Julia. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get in the water. And away we go! Yay, we're floating! That's always exciting, and she's got a spanking clean new bottom and uh, all clean top sides. She's looking pretty good right now. Looking pretty good, Stereo Horizons. Mm, yeah. And Julie, welcome to the boat, not in a boatyard. Yay! <laughs> Very exciting. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't get used to that in Thailand. <laughs> There's not much of it. I know. I'm used to it by now. <laughs> but I'll take what little we have right this second. It was fun exploring a bit of Phuket with my sister, but we were super excited to also share life on the water as well. We motored from GNT Shipyard to Ko Nakanoi, just three miles away from the yard. That gave us a quiet night at anchor to double check all our systems before we took off for a bigger sail. It looks like we're on the move again. We are. Successful first night back out on anchor. Yes. Star we're Horizons well. is not sinking. Nope. That's good. She's a happy camper. She's very clean. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the plan? Where are we going today? We are going back to PP Island. PP Island, mm, Tourist yeah. Central. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get some snorkeling in because the water clarity there is pretty decent, uh, especially compared to where we are right now. True which story. Is not clear. Yeah, and um, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, a few little bakeries, some good stuff on shore. Yeah. Good opportunity for Julie to catch a ferry on the way back. Next guest to catch a ferry on the way in. Exactly, we're swapping guests. In a few days. In a few days. Julie doesn't leave for a few days. Yeah. Today is a perfect example of it doesn't matter how long you've been on a boat, uh, it's still good to just double, triple, quadruple check things. So uh, when we had the sail bag taken off, um, the boat and repaired while we were at the boat yard. Put it back on. Um, I ran all the reefing lines and stuff again, but I kind of forgot to add the little strap that ties down the clue to the boom. So 
We raised the mane this morning, and I just kind of noticed, huh, it looks a little loose. If we left it like that, would have just chafed the outhaul like crazy, probably broken it, and then we have a real problem. So, uh, you know, drop the mainsail, get this fixed. But as you might be able to read into this, that means the wind's high enough we can sail slightly. This is the line that I wanted to lash on, keep the clue tied down to the boom. This uh, gray line, that's our outhaul. This is our third reef line. We don't really use, so I just keep tied back here. Uh, but yeah, now the foot of the sail is much better. Hey, Julie. Hey, David. We're actually sailing! We are. There is wind. Oh my goodness. What, what, what did you bring for us? I brought the wind. She brought the wind, guys. Yes, you're welcome. It's always appreciated on a sailboat. Much better than motoring. Exactly. With just a few hours of sailing, we arrived in PP to enjoy the sunset at our mooring ball. The next morning, the first order of business, a snorkel. Spending the day here at gorgeous PP Island. This is actually where we were with Carlos over Christmas. So we have been here before. Uh, we're anchored in a slightly different place, or not anchored, we're on a mooring ball. In a slightly different place this time, uh, a little bit closer to the gorgeous snorkeling. So we took advantage of that this morning. And we are gonna be here for a few days because as gorgeous as the island is behind me, as I turn this way, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of boats back there. PP is very touristy, so there are a lot of ferries that come in and out. Uh, lots of boats coming in to do the beach thing. So we'll be able to get Juliana Ferry back to Phuket, and our next guest will be able to take the ferry out here, prevent us from running all the way in. And yeah, those guys are freaking loud. Had a slight change in plan. Uh, for the first time, our dinghy engine decided to conk out on us this afternoon as we're headed into town. So quick little repair, and now we're going to Monkey Beach, apparently, because there are monkeys. Uh, 
uh, did we find a monkey already? We did. Very easy right to there. find. Hey, that's your first monkey in the wild, huh, Julie? It is. Monkey in the wild. He, he looks pretty tame, though. He's used to tourists, I think. Yeah, there's a reason it's called Monkey Beach. Did we find some babies as well? Two little babies. Two little babies. Very cute. Very sure. sadly playing with trash. Cute. Ready to tell Monkey Beach? Plenty of monkeys. Lots of babies. Lots of babies, lots of monkeys. Very cute. A nice little journey. Unfortunately, we have to make it quick because the tide is dropping very rapidly and there's a bunch of coral that we would run into on the way out. Yes. So, time to go. Time to go. But, monkeys! Check. Okay, this is going to be attempt number two to get my sister in and explore a little bit of the little village on PP Island. Uh, little, little Dippers is going to behave today, I'm calling it now, and uh, she'd really better because Julie has the ferry to catch. So we have to get in, and I really don't want to have to row the whole way there. Thankfully, the clog I found in the fuel line fixed the problem, and Little Dipper worked like a champ. We wandered the streets of Pee Pee, people watching, before settling in for one last Thai lunch with Julie. Bellies full, we said goodbye to my sister and watched her board the ferry for Phuket. We didn't have too long to wait though, as just a few hours later, one of Amy's best friends, Carlana, arrived for her stay. Hey y'all, thank you for checking out a little more of our explorations in Thailand. I wanna say a huge thank you to my sister for coming all the way out there to meet us and for being an awesome sport for visiting us while the boat was in the boatyard. Not exactly a fun way to start out your trip, but uh, we had a lot of fun. And uh, next video, we've got another friend coming to do a little more exploration in Thailand. So stick around, check that out. We'll see y'all next time.